Hello and welcome to iTutor.com. Today we will be going over how to enter our learning management system. But first, let's talk about how to enter your account. So once you're on iTutor.com, click on Login in the top right corner. From here, you'll be brought to our login page. So what you'll want to do is enter in your email address, followed by your password, then click on Enter or the Login button. Once you enter your account, you'll be brought to our learning management system, the LMS. Now that we're in the LMS, the first thing we'll need to do is to change our password. And the way you can go about that is by clicking on your name in the top right corner, then going to My Profile. Once you're on the My Profile page, click on Change Password. And from here, you'll be able to enter in a new password, then confirm your new password, and click on Save Changes. And from there, your password will be set. So, now that we changed our password, let's talk about our learning management system the LMS. One of the first things that you'll see is pending enrollment. Pending enrollment is where students whose accounts have not been fully finished are located. You're able to click on Add Details and go right back to where you left off with adding the student's information. Once you completed adding a student and click on Save and Finish, we will receive an email here at the office to let us know that the student is ready to begin their homebound instruction. Scrolling down will reveal a few more tools at your disposal. On the left, we have the IMS. The IMS is our internal email service. It allows you to send emails directly to iTutor admins and directly to your students. Class schedule shows all classes that are scheduled with students in your school district. You're able to see what time they are and how long they go on for. And for all of the rest of the tools, they are located on the left side of the screen. The button in the top left is the home button. The home button will take you back to the dashboard page, which is the page that we are looking at right now. No matter where you are on the website, if you click on that button, it will bring you back here. Directly below that is the all classes page. The all classes page will show you all classes that are scheduled for your students and all classes that have happened for your students. Beneath that is another method of getting to our IMS, our messaging service. You can click on that envelope, or alternatively, you can click on the one on the top right corner over here. Beneath that, we have the Life Preserver, which is our help and support section. So this will take you to a section where tutorial videos are located to teach you how to use all of the tools on the website. Beneath that is the User Management page. The User Management page gives you complete control over your students in your school district. We'll talk more about that in just one second. Beneath that is your profile, where you're able to edit your contact information. And beneath that is our iDrive, which we will talk about in a separate video. But for now, let's talk about user management. Clicking on user management brings you to the user management page. From here, you will have complete control over the students in your school district. All you'll need to do is click on the three dots next to their name. So let's use Al Dente as our example here. Once you click on the three dots, you'll be able to allocate additional hours. So this includes additional classes, extending classes, taking away classes, and editing the hours that the student needs. Beneath that is Edit. This will give you the ability to edit the student's personal and contact information. And the last button is Deactivate, which, well, deactivates their account. Next, we'll talk about adding a student. So if you have a student who has taken classes in the past with us, you will not need to add them again. All you'll need to do is go to their previously created account and update their hours accordingly. However, if you are adding a student for the first time, please click on Add Student in the top left corner over here. Once you click on that, you'll be brought to our easy three-step process for adding a student. If you wish to learn more on how to add a student, please go to the Help and Support section and view the tutorial video on how to add a new student. If you have questions or concerns about anything we went over today or general questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. You could reach us via email at operations at itutor.com or give us a call at 1-855-MY-ITUTOR. On behalf of the iTutor team, thank you very much and we hope you have a great rest of your day.